a change in power. Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd and today let's talk about One Piece chapter 1125. And before we go on into the bigger topics of course, we get the updates of Egghead Island, whatever is going on and the first thing we know is that Sassy is gone. Before we move on, make sure to like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. Now that you have, let's begin. So the Stasi being gone situation. I'd like to believe that that is kind of a false news from Lucci, considering the recent developments of Lucci and his progress towards making friends and kind of key making like, you know, developing a bond. I believe this is his one chance or this is kind of what he wants to do for Stasi because she's already been labeled as a Vegapunk ally and the enemy to the world. I believe that Luchi is trying to give Sassy that room to get away from get away from the world and you know live her live her live her life the way she wants to. Other than that, I don't really have much of a speculation, and this seems all too suspicious to see Sassy just being you know offed like that. The next thing we have to cons the next thing that is the biggest thing of the chapter, Saturn is gone, and. This is for real. Garling is now the fifth elder and has taken the position of the warrior of science and technology instead of Saturn and Saturn is gone. I knew Saturn would be killed off at some point in the story. I knew he would he'd not be a part of it, but I didn't know exactly how. And I guess this is the perfect way to put it. The same way Vegapunk has been too pride, prideful of his technology and investments and his curiosity towards science, the same fate lies to Saturn as well. And because of his curiosity, he let the Straw Hats escape and he let Joy Boy become something and Eem Sama was not happy. And to think that Saturn would make such a grave mistake goes to show that the five elders have a will of their own. The five elders have the will of their own and Im Sama does not know everything the five elder does, the same way Vegapunk does with the satellites. And now we finally got to know how a five elder, one of the elders, is chosen and that is from the top of the celestial dragons. Now of course it doesn't always have to be from it doesn't always have to be Emi's creations from what I suspected because the names ally, ally, lined up pretty pretty good. And now, the, now that we see an exception and we don't see a change to Garling's name, I would like to think that the five elders set now by Eam has been there for the longest time and up until recently, Eam Sama made no considerations to change it whatsoever. And this was the one exception that Eam Sama figured out and well now, Saturn paid the price. And this was in fact one of the most gruesome deaths I've seen in One Piece thus far, and I must say it is very fitting. I can't wait for the anime to adopt this. Let's wait until a year more. Coming back to the Holy Land with Garling's update as the Five Elder, there would be someone replacing Garling in the Holy Knights, and I'm guessing it would be the Man Marked by Flames, who I am considering as Shanks' evil twin, or whatever it is. That could be the most possible outcome of the next leader of the Holy Knights, and from the reaction, and the community has been a part of this, especially Mr. Morge. Mr. Morge has been riding the trail, and the train of... Drew Peter is actually a traitor to Eam, and this chapter kind of sort of confirms that the only person that we've got a reaction out of amongst the four elders was Drew Peter, and Drew Peter has been acting very, very weird from the beginning till the end. And his, his not so being active on the battlefield, and him being the first person to arrive, and not doing too much out of the five elders on Egghead shows and I think is enough proof that there is a traitor. There might, there might be something different going on, but from what we know, Im Sama does not know that the traitor exists. We have yet to know whether or not Jupiter actually is a traitor, but 
it highly suggests so. And coming back to the revolutionaries and the last thing on last thing on the chapter, which is the food crisis going on on the Holy Land, that was done by the revolutionary army is now taking into effect, and it is and it is creating havoc. Speaking of the revolutionary army, some of the Vegapunks are still alive. Edison, Chaka, and two others are still alive. And they have now taken afloat the Lava Sphere to make sure that uh, the punk records and the Lava Sphere to make sure that York or the world government does not get their hands on it. And they will wait until the world is free from the world government and is ready to hear the ideas and use the information of Vegapunk wisely. That's why they'll be up in the sky for a long, long time. And they're saying 500 years, but we all know that's coming to an end very soon. And the revolutionaries are now making contact with Vegapunk, and I believe the world government We have yet to figure out who, you know, that the Vegapunks are alive. Last but not least, this sort of connects that Sussy might be with the other Vegapunks if she is alive. And Dragon has finally decided to make a move considering the fact that the One Piece will be found immediately and people in search for power would be looking after the thing and Dragon would do anything and everything to make sure that Dragon would make to make sure that no one, the wrong person, doesn't get their hands on it. And even beside the One Piece, we all know that the world is getting plunged underwater within the next how many ever years. It could be very, very, very soon. And with Joy Boy coming back, Luffy being reincarnated using Gear 5, Eam Sama being in trouble, would probably want to raise the sea levels even faster. And this is not going to be a good news for the rest of the world. Dragon declared that the rest of the world, before it starts to find a new habitat and starts creating chaos amongst themselves, will want to make sure that the Holy Land is purged of evil, and he will apparently make his move. He's been planning his move for the last goddamn how many years, and at this point, dude, I've lost my trust in Dragon. However, I believe Sabo would definitely take another initiative. If there is ever going to be a time where there is a division amongst the revolutionary army, and from what we've seen on the race to One Piece, Sabo and Dragon are being treated as separate legal personalities. Not legal. I, that comes from my business background, but forgive me. But Dragon and Sabo are being treated as two different leaders of one of the same faction. I would like to believe that this would create some sort of a division amongst them, and... This would in fact lead to some pretty interesting plays by the both of them. Two of them having different agendas and different interests in the world and different moves to be made. I'm very much looking forward to whatever is coming in the future. But one thing that I like to make you guys think about is Blackbeard's move. Blackbeard wants to be the king of the world and will make sure that anything happens that he gets access to Pangea Castle, biting the identity of Saturn. But now that Saturn's gone, I think it creates a pretty good loophole for Blackbeard to fall under a pretty massive trap. That's it for the video guys, if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe, have a great day and peace.